607867 reference 54 tenor sax. I think they call this the matte, matte finish. Hmm, interesting. Not sure about it. Not sure whether I like it. But hey, it's a good sax. We know it's a good sax. Not sure whether they got this finish amazing, but these, uh, these play well when they are playing well, when they're adjusted and regulated uh, and when the pads are seated in their cups properly so that they touch down over the turn hall, perfectly even, 360 degrees, all even at the same time. That's what we... Uh, aim to achieve when we service the sax. This is the first thing I noticed with the, uh, the high of sharp. It's, it's always a little difficult to open up keys, but this is the first thing I noticed, just this little bit of a leak up here. It's very subtle. It's really subtle. Oops, the camera works shocking. Um, there it is. See this little leak? You never spotted that. That's just, but that's affecting the blowing of the sax. That's making it sound a little splatty. That's making it not work how it should. So, um, and this, this, this needs cleaning here. It's, it's all a bit gunky there. That's touching one side, but opening the other side. There's all these little subtle, we're, we're nitpicking, we call it. We're looking for fine. So we've got our B shutting first and the speaker still open as you can see up there with the camera. You can see that B is just shutting. It hits at the back first and then the front comes down and then the speaker over there is still open. And now I'm squeezing on the B. Yeah, so this B needs to be seated better and then regulated properly with the speaker key. We call the regulating key, which is this key here that I'm clicking with my finger right now. We call this the speaker key. It's the top of the stack. It helps the stack speak properly. Once it's regulated properly, then the stack is working properly, the horn speaks properly. At the moment, our B, our B touch piece regulating with the speaker is not correct. Um, and that's just the start. At the back here, when the A key is depressed, compressed, whatever the word is, um, This biz is supposed to shut like that, but here we go now, and our biz is open. So this is a huge problem to this sax, just that there, that the A is down, but if I move the camera over, there's the biz up. If we zoom out, we can see both of them. Uh, A hits down, biz open at the back, most probably open massively at the front as well. And there we go, we're at the front now. Yeah, there's a huge, um, and it's not a big problem, this one. Look, it's a real, uh, it's not like it's a rocket science solution. It's just, we need to regulate it. This G can be better. It's not seating exact. Um, and also our, Biz A, as you can see, the Biz and A being um, actioned. You can see that this speaker up here, there we go, there's the speaker again, not regulated properly. So the regulation of the B in speaker, this one, and the A, Biz and speaker, 
needs to be corrected. The G needs to be seated in its cup properly. This G sharp, yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Um, how are these guys? Yeah. I don't think there's a big problem with the, uh, with the uh, alt keys at the back, the uh, B flat and C, I think they're fine. Um, looking pretty good actually. Little bit of light here. There's a smidgey of light in there. We'll get rid of that. And um, as I said, we're going through this with a fine tooth comb, or we call it nit picking. Picking out nits in the horn. How's our E flat? Now the E flat pad will be cleaned thoroughly. Uh, and there we go. So there's our problem with the E flat. So the bottom end of the horn is never gonna work when you've got this. You've got this touching down there, and but not here. So uh, that's gonna get fixed. The main issue I think always pretty well is, is the right stack. It's, um, I'm just going to take the spring off the G sharp so the G sharp key opens up. We'll go around to this side again. And I've got my finger on the, the speaker. So this is the speaker key here. And we've got our F, E, and D. Let's zoom out again. Speaker key, F, E, and D. Now I'm just going to turn the horn over. And the speaker key is being touched with my finger. I'm not worrying about the F, E, or D at the moment. I'm just having a look at the relationship between the speaker and the G sharp. And as you can see, that speaker shuts down now. Come on, camera. Give me some joy, there we go. So that's closing there, but open at the G sharp. So that's a regulation issue. Um, and also, we're just looking at the seating of the speaker. The speaker's not too bad seating-wise. Um, but regulation-wise, with the touch pieces on the right stack, the F, as you can see, it's not perfect. That speaker's open there when the F is depressed. You can see just a little bit of a, yeah. And also um, our E, this is not right, hitting hard at the back there. So this is what our stack's looking like at the moment. The D is hitting hard at the back. Um, and uh, we'll fix all that. I'm not sure what it looks like at the back of the horn when I do that. Let's have a little quick look. Uh, so there's not, yeah, you can see that the G sharp's not regulated properly. Um, speaker, we could maybe say it's hitting a little hard at the back, it's touching down first. And the E could be better. Yeah, it's, it's, the speaker's going down first with the E and then the E still open. So you can see the speaker touches, E still open. We don't want it like that at all. And the same with the D, the D can be definitely better. It's hitting out of the back. Um, when we get down to our mate, our old mate C, let's get a different leaf light down the down. Let's put this leak light down the bone. I can't see what I'm doing here, so I'm going to just do this. Here we go. Um, let's change that over. And sorry about the bad camera work here, folks. Here we go. We've got light, light down the bell now, and light down so we can see our C. Now our C is full of light. That one's always difficult to get light to. And you can see just there, hardly a problem, but pretty good. I'm liking that C. I'm really liking that C. That C is really good. 
Yeah, okay, how's the bell keys? Let's give it some bell action. The bell keys always seem to be out on horns. This is hitting hard at the back, it's unregulated. The bell is a little out of the line. So we are going to align the bell itself so that these keys are seated and then we will regulate it. Um, and I'm not sure what the relationship with the, the B and the C sharp. It's a little under-regulated that C sharp. We needed to close a little bit more than that. Um, and also we'll be looking at the relationship when I put the G sharp spring on so that there's just the right amount of um, regulation here with the G sharp key. Obviously this regulation here with the B and the bottom of the B flat regulation arm there, that'll be sorted out. Um, that's about it for the assessment. That was a long time, 11 minutes, wow. Anyway, there we go. We will be recorking the neck and putting a new uh, a new um, pad in that neck um, pad. Can we cork this neck so it fits a a Bagonzi, an direct Bagonzi mouthpiece? This is way too uh, thin. This cork at the moment.